Hello, hello, happy Sunday. I hope you guys are having a great weekend. I hope your weekend has been super fun, making memories with your family, being active, getting your workouts in, and doing your best on your nutrition. I understand how hard it can be to get through the weekend and feel like you undone all of your hard work throughout the week. I've done okay. My nutrition has been okay, not the best, but um, it's a new week tomorrow, it's a new day, new week. Hallelujah, super excited, but I thought it was important that I share with you again how I planned my week out. I followed my week to a T last week. I had my macros planned out in the morning. I had them logged so that I could see exactly what I was working with. So this is my fasting window. I just go online and find a blank calendar. Um, you can find anything online if you need to. And then I, like I said, I start with my dinners. I know what I'm gonna be having for my snacks. Most days are the same. Um, depends on if it's a low carb macro day or if it's a regular macro day. But for the most part, I eat the same snacks. So that's easy. For dinner, usually it's the same. I like to use any leftovers I can. So we're doing a roast for dinner tonight. Um, so I will be using a lot of shredded beef for my meals this week. Um, I'll be cooking chicken in advance. I will be making sure my veggies for my dinners are um, prepped, cut up, ready to go. And my meat or my protein is out for the day so that it's thought out when I do get off work and it makes it easier for me to cook it. Um, so for this week we learned, so so far we have learned about intermittent fasting. Hopefully you guys are doing well with intermittent fasting. Um, we've learned about whole food nutrition. We have learned about carb cycling. We have learned about tracking our macros. So now we're gonna put it all together this week. We're gonna focus on our mindset this week. You're gonna be learning about your mindset in the group, uh, in the emails that I'm sending out. That's what we're gonna be focusing on this week is mindset. But you guys have been doing incredible. Um, a few of you have ran into a few little bumps in the road and you've picked yourself up and that is huge. That is amazing and I am so proud of you. I don't care if you didn't have a faster way to fat loss win this last week. I messaged each and every one of you. I wanted to get a win out of you. And you know what? Just getting through the week, um, a lot of us are finishing or just finished homeschooling or um, learning from home this week, which is a huge one for us getting through that. Um, if you just made it through the week, you made it through a busy work week if you're a nurse or something, someone you know that is working in a very busy healthcare setting right now, that is huge and I applaud you. You got through the week. It's okay if you ate crappy. Give yourself some grace. This week actually um, was my period week. I actually am now on my period and I was more anxious. I wanted to eat everything that was not good for me this week. I did get, give myself a lot of grace. On low carb days, I did eat more carbs than normal. Um, and that's just it. I haven't been sleeping very good. My energy's been low and that that happens to us all. So if you are starting to feel icky, your body's feeling more achy or um, not feeling more as energized as you thought you would be, it could be because of that time of the month. And that's just normal for us to feel that way um, and give yourself a lot of grace. So I hope that is helpful. I hope me being open and honest and vulnerable with you guys really does help because I'm a human too and I go through the same things everything else, everyone else does. I go through the same struggles. Anyways, so this week for my low carb day meals, I'm gonna do a garden salad. I'm gonna do cherry tomatoes. I'm gonna do cucumbers. Um, I may add a little bit of bacon um, and then some avocado and chicken. I'm gonna make a balsamic vinegar vinaigrette for my salads this week. I usually just use balsamic vinegar, a little bit of olive oil, some honey, and then a little bit of seasonings. I will, I don't really follow recipes very good, but I will share the recipe that I'm gonna use um, so that you guys have an idea of what I'm gonna be eating. And then for my dinners, for low carb days, I'm gonna be doing fish and cauliflower rice. If you haven't had cauliflower rice, it is so good for low carb days. Um, if you're wanting um, something that feels like carbs but is giving you the veggie benefits, cauliflower rice is great. I like to just cook it in a little bit of olive oil um, and then season it with some salt and pepper um, and that's it. And then I'm gonna do asparagus. So I'm gonna do fish and baked asparagus for um, tomorrow's dinner. 
And then the next day I'm gonna be doing a beef taco salad. Um, so I'm gonna be using the shredded beef from our roast today. And I'm gonna just be putting it on a bed of lettuce with some avocados, some cherry tomatoes, um, and maybe some salsa and a little bit of ranch or something like that, or some green chilies. And just to give it a bunch of flavor you guys I keep my meals super simple and I make sure I'm making something that I know my kids will eat for the most part my kids will eat fish I'll usually cook them regular rice or some flavored rice um, they will eat like a quesadilla or they like taco salads as well um, and then for my regular macro days where I'm gonna be adding in the carbs I'm gonna be having for Wednesday and Thursday, I'm gonna be having a barbecue chicken bowl and I'm gonna do the sweet potatoes like I did last week. I just chop them up, I bake them, um, and I make a big batch of them so that I have those throughout the week for my carbs. Super yummy, I will be having some rice with it. So probably like some barbecue chicken, um, sweet potato, rice, I'm gonna to top it with a little bit of cabbage, um, and then maybe some corn and black beans. I haven't decided what I'm gonna be putting in that bowl yet, but that I'm gonna be prepping as well tomorrow. And then a green smoothie is always a snack that I have. Green smoothie, I do spinach, almond milk, chia seeds, um, banana, and some vital collagen protein, which is flavorless. It gives me my extra protein that I need for the day. And then for snacks, I always do raw nuts on low carb days. I do um, apples and some almond butter. I've actually been doing that at night um, as my last meal because that's when I tend to want to eat sweets. And so I've been before going to bed eating an apple or a half an apple and some almond butter and it helps so much. I did buy some baby bell cheese for um, the week as well. Um, that's like the only dairy I do eat is cheese, like string cheese or the baby bell cheese I really like. Um, and then for my dinners on regular macro days for one night i'm doing a burger grilled burger wrapped in um lettuce and i'll have a some of those leftover so i'll do those for lunch one day as well i'm gonna do some sweet potato fries i just slice my potatoes into thin strips and then i bake them just like i do my other sweet potatoes i'm gonna do pork tacos um because i bought some pre um, made pork it's super easy to make it's clean ingredients and seriously is the best so pork tacos for dinner um, grilled chicken with corn on the cob is super easy for us as well and some veggies probably do some green beans or something every Sunday we try to do roast mashed potatoes and gravy and corn on the cob or green beans or something like that um, and that's it you guys like for your snacks load up on um, fruits and veggies load up on healthy nuts um, really just keep your meal simple um, so Mondays and Tuesdays are low carb days you want to focus on healthy fats avocados raw nuts um, cooking in olive oil having olive oil in your dressings for your salads Chia seeds is a great way to put, um, add some extra fats and protein into your smoothies if you're doing a smoothie. Um, almond butters, peanut butter, those are great healthy fats as well. Load up on those. You want to heat, um, hit that protein goal and then you wanna load up on fats the rest of the day. Low carb does not mean no carb in the faster way. Low carb just means we want to stay below a certain amount of carbs, which is our carb goal in my fitness pal minus the fiber, net, the fiber and that's gonna give us our net carbs. Um, and I'll be explaining that when I'm posting my macros throughout the week. It really does keep me accountable and helps me stay on track as well. Um, and then load up on lots of veggies, uh, throughout the whole entire week. You can throw in so much food in a salad and not get in all your calories in one meal in a salad. S cherry tomatoes, lettuce, spinach, chicken, um, cucumbers, sprouts, carrots. So many good things can be added into a salad. Another very yummy snack that I love for low carb days are olives. I love olives for a snack. That's one of our biggest snacks at home is olives and pickles, and they're great for low carb days. Um, and then load up on fruits on your regular macro days when you are eating those um, carbs. You wanna load up on super yummy carbs like berries, bananas, oranges, uh, apples, 
watermelon i just bought a watermelon grapes are great for an afternoon snack um to get that sweet tooth um craving gone so make sure you're planning ahead that is key planning plan your week ahead make sure you are packing your food for you um if you are busy at work and you need to um lengthen your eating window your fasting eating window you know and you need to break your fast earlier in the morning and have a 12 hour fasting window that's totally fine and that is great you need to listen to your body you don't need to follow the 16 8 protocol to a t because we don't focus on perfection we focus on progress so i hope you guys are having a fantastic day um honestly you're doing great you're getting in your workouts and that's huge you're doing intermittent fasting and that is super key and you're doing your your best and you're doing great on your meals which i am super proud of and i want you guys to know that i am here cheering you on in the corner every single day so make sure you are interacting with me you're sharing things on facebook and instagram if you want to tag me go for it because i am every time i hear you say something about your replacing a piece of fruit um you're replacing the chocolate with a piece of fruit i'm in the background saying woohoo way to go i'm super proud of you so anyways guys i hope you have a fantastic sunday and i will be chatting with you soon throughout the week and i truly do hope making these videos is helpful for you please share every single day i want to know how you're doing and all that good stuff so have a great day guys